What sets example six and seven apart are that in the binomial, it's no longer just the variable plus or minus a number. We now have this coefficient in front of the variable. So remember our first step was to, first of all, check and make sure all of our powers were there. So we start with p to the fourth, then we've got p cubed, p squared, p, and then our constant. So we're good. We don't have to worry about putting any placeholders down. Then we set the binomial equal to zero and we solve it for the variable. So when we solve this one equal, or yeah, when we set this one equal to zero and solve it, adding two is not our only step. Before, that was just a single variable over there. But now it's not a single variable, so we have one more step in solving this. This gives us 2 over 9 for our uh, variable, so that is the number that's going to go on the shelf. So we're going to have to deal with a fraction. But the good news is it's usually not that bad, okay? Usually you don't have to run fractions throughout the problem. It's just here in the initial step. Then let's list our coefficients, 9, 25, negative 78, 88, and negative 16. Okay, leave your space, draw your line, bring down the first coefficient of 9, multiply that by the number on the shelf. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then just do it in your calculator. 9 times, put in parentheses, 2 over 9, and it gives you 2. That goes in the next available space. Do we add or subtract? Add. Okay, we add. 25 plus 2 is 27. Mm. And I have to multiply again by this fraction. Well, it turns out, the nice thing is, that is divisible by 9, so it's not going to give us another fraction. It's just going to give us a whole number of 6. Negative 72 plus 6 is negative, excuse me, negative 78 plus 6 is negative 72. I'm giving away the answer there. <clears throat> Again, we've got to multiply by this fraction. Whoops, put the fraction in the wrong spot. Negative 72 times 2 over 9 gives us negative 16, add, that gives us 72 again, so that's going to give us positive 16, and negative 16 plus 16 is 0, so we have our remainder, 0, that's nice, and then remember we go back in, we started, our problem started with p to the fourth, so now it's going to be p cubed, p squared, p and then a constant, so this is our answer. 9p cubed plus 27p squared minus 72p plus 72. Now remember, there were a couple of things that this told us when we had a remainder of zero. Um, it means that obviously it divided evenly because we have no remainder. And that means that 9p minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial, so we don't know how to factor something like that, but apparently that's part of it. Um, <clears throat> and if we were to graph that original polynomial, one of the x-intercepts would happen at 2 over 9. Okay, one of the x-intercepts would happen at 2 minus. Um, so that's what it means when we have a remainder of 0. Okay, let's look at one more like this. I think you've got the synthetic division part of it down pat, but let's just keep working with the fractions a little bit. Uh, let's look and see if we're missing anything. We start with v to the fifth, v to the fourth. We expect v cubed to come next. We don't have v cubed. We also don't have v squared. And then we've got v and our constant. So when we list the terms of our polynomial, we've got seven, six. We're missing our cubed. We're missing our squared, so we've got to put zeros there, and then negative 35 and negative 31. All right, let's figure out what to put on the shelf. So 7v plus 6 equals 0, subtract 6. 7v equals negative 6, divide by 7. v equals negative 6 over 7.
All right, bring down that first coefficient of 7. Multiply. Guess what? The 7s cancel, so that gives us negative 6. Add. 6 plus negative 6 is 0. Well, that's nice because 0 times anything is 0. When we add, we get 0. When we multiply, we get 0. And when we add, we get 0 again. And one more time when we multiply, we're going to get 0. But this time when we add, it's not 0 anymore. It's negative 35. When we multiply those, that's going to give us positive 30. Again, you can do it in your calculator. I'm just doing it in my head. And when we add, we get negative 1 for the remainder. So we start with v to the 5th. So we've got v to the 4th, v cubed, v squared, v, and a constant. So when you write it, if you have coefficients of 0, you don't need to write those. So the quotient here is 7v to the 4th minus 35 minus 1 over our divisor, 7v plus 6. Okay, I put the minus this time because it was negative 1 for the remainder. So <clears throat> we can express that as, as subtracting the remainder instead of adding. Okay, and that is our answer. So that means that... 7v plus 6 is not a factor of that polynomial. Negative 6 over 7 is not an x-intercept of that polynomial. Um, but this is how we can express it. Uh, let me remind you one more time of how you can check these in your calculator. Uh, because this will come in handy if you're doing a multiple choice problem and you really just don't remember how to do it. Um, it takes some time, but it's better to take some time and get the answer right. right? Remember, we can type in the entire original problem. Make sure we put parentheses around the polynomial divided by parentheses around our divisor, 7x plus 6. Okay, you type all that in y1, and then you type your answer in y2, 7x to the 4th minus 35. You really don't have to put down parentheses, but if you're on the parentheses train, you might as well. Minus 1 over, you have to put this part in parentheses or it will not turn out right. Okay, the 7x plus 6 has to be in parentheses. And then we just go to the table and make sure that all of our y values match up and they do not. What did I write that down? Um, okay. 7 x 6 minus 35 minus. Hmm. Anybody see a mistake? I didn't type anything in wrong, so. Where did my math go wrong? Um, bring down the 7. Multiply, it's negative 6. Add, that's 0. 0, 0, 0. Negative 35. Negative 5 times negative 6 is positive 30. Negative 1. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Did I type something in there? Maybe I don't need those parentheses first. I don't think that should matter. I'm missing something obvious. Does anybody see anything? Minus 35 x minus 31. Should match up. 